subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Folks, congratulations on the Pusan selection. Um, your film, Nazar Band, uh, will have its world premiere at Pusan um, this week. Uh, you know, it's been such a strange year that, that also film festivals are operating differently, of course. In a normal year, you would have been in person in Busan, watching the film with an audience, yeah. uh, sort of enjoying the response in person. Um, I guess today and in this, in, in this year, you will have to rely on secondhand information. Um, does it make you a little bit sad that you're not able to attend in person and watch the response to the film? Look, what happened, uh, it's, it's a physical festival in Korea, right. but they are not uh, able to uh, invite an international guest. So right. what they, they're doing, they're trying to bring as close as possible of a uh, visible Q&A. So they are putting a camera in the theater and, uh, and, and putting me on the other side on the same screen after the film and doing the Q&A. So that's kind of getting the kind of trying to get the vibes uh, the direct vibes after the film is screened in, in, in the Busan Festival. So that is the almost as close we can get to. Except, That's... Shimon, I, except I, I feel like if, I feel like the feeling of being at the back of the theater and watching yeah, exactly. the audience exactly. respond is something that, that, that you'll miss, Completely right? different. You are right. You was, I completely agree. Yeah. So I want to be uh, watching it in the theater itself, sitting with the audience, you know, sitting with yeah. the, yeah. Okay. Of yeah, course, no, it's exactly. rare. As you said, like the, the one of the best experiences of going to a festival to watch a film premiere is to be in the audience and see how the audience is riding the film almost, you know, like where are the yeah, moments yeah. where they actually like take that gasp of breath or like, you know, like people actually are connected emotionally to the film. So yeah, it was strange actually when I found out that uh, we're not going to go. But again, like there's been so much learning through this yeah. year that I've learned to let that go. But it's almost like, you know, one of those things like a Schrodinger's cat thing, like if the tree falls in the woods, and there's no one to hear it. Does it actually fall? Like, what does it mean to have a film premiere at a festival virtually? Yeah. So it is, it is different because, I mean, I've been lucky to go to all the premieres of all my films and they've been on international premieres and I've had such a gala time there, like, you know, getting treated to drinks and like meeting all these wonderful people. And there's a lot of community building that happens uh, yeah. at a film festival as well. Like Slam Dance for Cat Six was amazing that way. It was such yeah. a nice, small festival where everybody knows everyone. <laughs> Yeah. So I think that uh, definitely going to miss, going to miss the free drinks, I guess. But uh, other than that, uh, being in Korea, I mean, Korea, thankfully, garbage went to another Korean festival two years ago. So I, I took that chance to go to Korea. But if I hadn't gone, I would be feeling much, much worse because uh, Korea is just a beautiful, beautiful, amazing place with wonderful people who have such a deep understanding of film and cinema that it's just, uh, it's a pleasure to be there as an actor, as a performer, as a filmmaker. Indra, is it a practice I'm acceptance because I was out of NSD I film I was the film So I was NSD just passed out the first film So I thought that I was doing all the work for two years time So lockdown But one by one, my whole film Like Shumanda's film Bhusan Second film I did Srishti That was in Mami Festival that. And uh, third serious man serious and fourth man. is like, <laughs> fourth is I'm shooting with Bansali sir. So, I don't have to worry Like, I think I'm accept and sit You know, this film, Nazar Band, uh, which is adapted from a short story by the well-known Bengali uh, writer Asha Purna Devi. Uh, it's the story of these two strangers who meet on the same day that they're both released from prison. And, and they sort of set off on this unlikely journey, um, they get pulled into this, into, I suppose, what is a dark and, and sometimes heartbreaking journey. Um, and it's really through the bowels of Kolkata, isn't it? Uh, I want to ask you, what, to each of you, what was it that spoke to you about the story? What made you want to tell the story? Uh, you know, Shimon, you, of course, as a director and, and to the two of you as actors, why was this a story that you wanted to get behind? For me, you know, when I was reading the story, Asha Purna is very famous for its interior stories. He talks yeah. about in interiors, but the, this story is outdoors. And the first thing which kind of caught me by Jogular and pulled me up, first thing, the two characters, you know, they fascinated me. And then I got a kind of a, you know, what I'd say that a cinematic architecture within the film. I thought that 
the cinema i can see the film happening inside that story nice. so i thought let let uh, let catch this let's get hold on this and i i really wanted to follow the characters and at the same time my third protagonist of the film is the city city called right. i i navigated the south north east and west of kolkata and also in jharkhand and bihar and i want to make that archi- difference of architecture the part of my film and part of the of the emotions also so that was two things as a filmmaker i think that cinematically it is interesting and the mm-hmm. characters are interesting and not and this film is not a plot driven it is completely character driven film true it's so true what you say about the city being another character because um, I mean, in a in a sense, we are sort of seeing it through uh, Vasanthi's eyes, which is Indira's character, because the moment that she steps out and 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 sees a different city from the way that she knew it, yes. uh, you kind of realize uh, w- w- that that how much change has just taken place in the years that she's been uh, she's been away. Ex- so. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. But mm. but Tanmay, Indira, for you, uh, why was this a story that uh, that you wanted to get behind? I I mean, the three reasons are Kolkata, Kolkata, and Lalda. <laughs> I think, uh, for me like i'm a calcutta guy. so i grew up in calcutta calcutta is very connected to my heart like i mean i keep going back to calcutta the interesting thing about me though is i'm not bengali so like there's this whole group of people in calcutta called the bengalis call them obangalis or hindustanis you know like you know we are uh, we are in some ways uh, the intellectual outcasts i would say like the social like you know like it's a big deal for somebody who's not bengali to like you know get into theater and film and stuff so i had that uh, i think thing going through my head for a long time so what i loved about this story firstly i mean when lalda came to me i couldn't believe it because i'm such a huge fan of his work i mean herbert yeah. was a life changing film for me when i watched mm-hmm. it his theater we had a theater group in calcutta so he's a legend i mean his dad and his theater group and all these things we we it's it's sort of a legacy kind of thing for me you know mm-hmm. coming from calcutta uh, and when he came with the story again it's such a beautiful story such a sweet little story but also what interested me was that he wants to make this in hindi and was kind of exploring this sort of immigrant section of calcutta the hindi speaking section of calcutta which is a sort of marginalized community which is not talked about too much like you know even like say hindi films from bombay they will only right. see calcuttans as bengalis or like you know even international productions they'll show howrah bridge and like you know all these things so somebody who is calcutta i mean lalda is as calcutta as it gets to make a film like this uh, for me was a huge uh, it was a huge impetus i i i i couldn't believe it i was like so surprised and at the same time i had my my reservations about whether i could pull it off or not and it, i it's probably a stupid thing to of me to do as an actor to question the director why they think i can do the part but that's what i did i like i think we had some drinks in wtf in bombay yeah. and i was like but what how do you see me and he's like no you can do it and i'm so glad he like trusted me and convinced me for it uh and then yeah it was then i met indira after that and she is the reason number whatever 45677 yeah. <laughs> indira aapke liye mere liye to sabse pehle to ye mere liye bahut badi opportunity thi because just pass out hote hi aapko koi film milna without any audition Jee. that was very yeah. surprisingly for me because yeah. sir ka jo uh, सर एनएसडी में प्ले कराने आए थे एंड मेरे साथ उनका मतलब पेयरिंग भी नहीं हुआ था लाइक उनको दूसरा ग्रुप मिला था हम लोग दूसरे ग्रुप में थे एंड द वे ही कॉल्ड मी एंड सडनली आस्क मी कि एक स्क्रिप्ट में कर रहा था तुम्हारा ख्याल आया तुम करोगी क्या तो मुझे लगा मना कौन करता है लाइक तो वैसा हुआ एंड देन सर बोल सर ने जिस तरीके से कहा कि लाइक एक स्टोरी है बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है जब मुझे पता चला तो एक पॉइंट पे पढ़ने के बाद लगा कि वाह कमाल है बिकॉज एक तो आउटडोर पूरा का पूरा जिस तरीके से स्टोरी जा रही है यूजुअली हम घरों में बंदों की कहानियां देखते हैं बट hmm. लोग घर के बाहर हैं और घर के बाहर एक किसी की स्टोरी चल रही है दो स्ट्रेंजर्स हैं एंड वो भी इतना टिपिकल लव स्टोरी मतलब लाइक एक तरीके से सॉर्ट ऑफ तो लव स्टोरी करने का मेरा मन तो बड़ा था कि लव स्टोरी मिलनी चाहिए और मुझे मिल भी गई तो वो एक कारण था दूसरा कारण ये की स्टोरी का प्लॉट बहुत बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग है तो जिस तरीके से मैं कैरेक्टर को भी देखती हूँ मैं जस्ट जितना भी पढ़ के सीख के निकली थी ये टाइम था सुमन दा क्योंकि थिएटर में भी है और फिल्मों में भी काम करते हैं उस तरीके से एज एन एक्टर मेरे लिए बहुत लर्निंग प्रोसेस रहा और मेरा बेस बहुत स्ट्रांग बन गया अगर मैं ऐसा बोलू तो क्योंकि बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ओनली मैं पूरा मतलब बोलते हैं ना कि एक क्रेडिट होता है कि तुम्हारी शुरुआत कहाँ से हुई मैं वो क्रेडिट सर को देना चाहूंगी बिकॉज अगर सीरियस मैन में बोला जा रहा है कि मैं इतना अंदरूनी कैसे करवाई इतना मैंने जड़ से जुड़कर कैसे किया वो बिकॉज ऑफ वासंती 
बिकॉज कोलकाता में जिस तरीके से वो एक ग्रोथ हुआ मेरा एज एज अ थिएटर पर्सन शिफ्टेड टू अ सिनेमा जा रहे हैं शूट कर रहे हैं वो बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोसेस था तो मुझे लगता है मेरे पास कोई ना करने का एक भी मतलब कोई कारण ही नहीं था how do you see chandu you know he it takes us a while to figure him out i mean we realize he's a man whose intentions initially are certainly not so noble and then and then you realize you think he's changed and it turns out he hasn't you know he's he's someone who who flips quite frequently um shuman how did you sort of what what was your brief to uh, to tanmay in terms of how you uh, how you wanted him to see uh, chandu and and tanmay how did you get into uh, get into his head and sort of you know figure out the the process of playing him i am still not very sure about chandu you know <laughs> i don't know i'm not pretty sure because it always happens with my characters you know that i i i give them space i try to give them a space and sometimes there are a lot of areas which i even i don't know how this character will behave so but i have a general subliminal outline for chandu and which I, which I, which I shared with uh, tanmay that this is how chandu because he is an insecure guy also he has his own uh, own uh, you know uh, problematics uh, inside his psyche so he is always grappling with himself also he not sure about himself so i think that was the only brief that don't make him a very confident character he has his own goals he has his own uh, issues with himself also to so try to make him vulnerable also as character wasn't is completely vulnerable and you can see there is a certain level of strength sometimes emerging out of wasn't's character At the same time chandu's weaknesses are also you know seen in in in, in some uh, areas so i think that dynamics of you know that uncertainty of that dynamics is the 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 moving for the engine of the film the, the spine of the film then mai how did you see chandu Yeah no I, it's very interesting what sir said because uh, I also I I kind of knew this guy you know like I I again I knew like where in Calcutta you know somebody like this would live in and like you know what his background would be in some sort of way mm. uh, but again I didn't want to go off of like you know just playing an archetype of a character obviously and right. I mean, every time I do a part I always want to find the vulnerability of the character I want to find why why certain people do these things and I think to me actually I know sir is saying something different but I remember in one workshop sir said he is inherently cruel and that yes. unlocked something for me because that didn't mean that okay now I'm a bad guy what it meant was that he is struggling against his demons that he is inherently like you know like a school boy a 12 year old school boy who will see the puppy and torture it or whatever or like play pranks <laughs> on their friends it's an actual like, instinct yeah 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 and he is very animalistic very like uh, instinctive and like will sort of like take somebody's purse and then think about what he's done like you know take whatever he just takes things because like that's he's had like a tough life so to speak yeah. you know he's had a very tough life he's learned from the school of hard knocks and he's a hustler enough to make things work for him like even in jail he's a pretty much a mustan he like make sure he's friends with all the cops and stuff he knows Correct. everybody you see that as a little bit in the in the, yeah. in the first scene yeah 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 so he knows all these things but yet like you know he has a lo- he he's stuck right in a way like he's stuck and he wants to change his life almost and he's unable to so again like once we had the starting of points the take off points then it was just a a question of coming on set and forgetting all this information and just being instinctive about it you know i want to ask you um what is the trick to never robbing these people of their dignity because these are people who live like you said you know on the margins of society um, they lead hard scrabble lives they will do what it needs what needs to be done to get by um and and yet how do you make sure that you don't rob them of their dignity that these characters have that inherent dignity i mean is that is that important and how do you achieve that shimon you know uh, rajesh in the through my entire career of my my theater work and film work yeah i try to i try to tell the story of the marginals yeah. and the people who are uh, you know, subaltern you know i try to somehow in all my films you know, even if is the main characters are from middle class or some other uh, social status but there is always a character who comes so i've been dealing with these characters my study my sociological Uh, perceptions, my understanding, 
of social political situation is always trying to through a lens of a marginal man and or a man who lives on the at the border so i think that this entire processing this entire uh, practice throughout my mm. my film making and theater making career can help me to 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 feel the dignity of these characters to feel to reveal the history of these characters the the deep emotional angst or 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 the or the or the, or the socio political you know the discrimination they face in their in their life so that is i think that always part of my own style of filmmaking my own choice of content throughout my life well thank you thank you it's a lovely film and i think that the performances are wonderful and i really think that you all were able to bring out these characters so beautifully that it makes it easy to be invested in them uh, all the best for pusan and and can't wait to see what you guys do next thank you thank you thank you rajiv thank you very much